we want to read all of the data from the text file into an array of struct. So this is the struct definition that we've been using so far. And this is just a function to print the array once we have everything inside of the array. So the real, the major thing here is how to read from the text file into the array of struct. Okay, so the first thing you do is make the array. And after that, you want to open the file, right? So the lines of code to open the file, it would be if stream, right? So if stream, because that sounds for input file stream. And we normally call it fn brackets and the name of the file, which is input.txt. And after that, the file should be open, but we need to check that the file is actually open. So to check for that, we do an if statement and we check if not fn. So this will check if the file is not open. If the file is not open, then we can exit immediately with the exit code of 1. Okay, to use exit, you would need to do a hashtag include. Hashtag include, and you want to include um, cstd lib. CSTD lib. Okay, so once we reach this point here, we know that the file has opened and it is open properly. So now, what we need to do is make a temporary store struct in order to store each line of data from the file as we read it. So to do that, we just restore and I'll call this temporary store. So that's just a little temporary store struct. Now we need to have a count for the number of stores that are in the file, which in our case here will count to five, right? So we just need a variable to keep track of the number of stores. So that'll be int number of stores, set that to zero, because initially we have zero stores in the array. Okay, so now we actually can start to read from the text file. So we want to read the first thing on any given line into the temporary struct. Okay, so the first thing on any line would be the name of the store. So you want to read that from the file, so you want to get from the file, so as F in, and you read into temporary store dot name. So you put the name into the temporary store struct. Now we start the while loop. So the condition in the while loop, we have to check for either these common x's here or the capital x's, right? Those are two things that could stop the um, that could stop the text file that will indicate the end of the text file. To check for the small x's and the big x's, and to write this this condition here, the first thing you should think about is what will cause the the while loop to stop. So when do we want to stop? We want to stop if the temporary store dot name dot name is equal to the common x's or temporary store dot name is equal to the capital x's. Okay? That is when we want to stop. So therefore we want to continue while this is not true. So we just drop a not in front there. And that is a condition for the while loop. When we reach inside the while loop, we want to read everything else on that given line into temp. So the other two things on the line here, this is the income and this is the um, expense. So we want to read those things into temp. So we go F in into temporary store dot income, income earn, and also temporary store dot uh, expense, expenses. So at this point we have read in everything on our line. Uh, one thing that I want to add in here is that we should also calculate the net income immediately. So calculate the net income. Okay, so that will be net income earn. So that will be temporary store dot net, what do I call it, call it dot net, yeah, temporary store dot net, assigned temporary store dot income earned minus temporary store 
deduct expenses. So we've calculated, we have calculated the net and we have stored it in the temporary store struct. So now we have to put the temporary stall into the array of stalls. So that would be so we go into the array. So the name of the array is stalls. And we will go in into we see we have a count up here. We have a count called number of stalls and we have set it to zero. So we are going to stalls and go into the location number of stalls. And we are setting that to the temporary stall. So we have saved the temporary stall in the array of stalls. Now we have to increment the count, so number of stores plus plus. And the last thing we do before we quit, before we exit the value, is we should read in the first thing on a given line into temp. That was the exact same thing we did before we started the while loop. So we will just read that in here. So basically the first line before we start the while loop should be the last line before we end the while loop. Okay? Once while loop has finished, we would have read in everything from the file into the array abstract. And to close the file, we just go fn.close. That will close the file. And then make sure that we have um, we are read in everything properly. We just need to print everything out to the screen. So print store info, that is the function that I created up here. And it requires the array and the number of stores. So print store info, stores, comma, number of stores. And I think that's it. Let's see if we have any errors. We have a few errors. Okay. Temporary store that name. So we have the form name. Okay, store name. So that's my bad. This should be store name. Store name. And everywhere else will also have that problem. Store name. Store name. Okay. Any more? One more. Store name. Yeah, I believe we are error free at this point. So we could compile it. It has compiled and we can execute it. And it has executed. And what we see here is that we have read in everything, all the data from the text file, we've read it into the array, and we have successfully printed it out to the screen. And this is the code that gets it done.